Hello everyone and welcome back. Today we are looking at Legacy RC from the Prime Universe and uh, <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna have an unpopular opinion here. I like the figure especially because like a I never got the original RC so I don't have that to compare it to but also it's just a really nice figure and yes it's a G1ified RC. That's kind of what they were doing. Um, or like that, that beginning half of Legacy was, you know, kind of doing. They were still into like their um, uh, War for Cybertron series, or uh, like mindset of, we got a G1 to foy everything, but we also got to make it different. Um, but yeah, so here she is in a very much more kind of flat um, robot mode with giant wheels sticking out and. Well, yes, I kind of wish they were able to find a way to have them, you know, on the back of the uh, the thighs here, or calves, uh, on her calves. H having them on the side here, especially for, like, the small deluxe you know, uh, and the how simple the engineering is, you know what, it's fine. I'm not really bothered by it, and if you are, you can just, you know, take them off. But, you know, you know. But uh, it's not like it, it distracts from anything, really. My kind of only problem is the feet. The feet are a little weird because it's like just one, like the heel itself doesn't move. It's the front toe and the uh, the heel is very strange. So you don't really get a good, I mean, you kind of get a good uh, bit of movement. It's just a little awkward trying to get the... Uh, I'm trying to get her into a decent mode, you know. Um, you can take off the uh, the back or the uh, the front wheel here and turn it into. I I don't know what they classify this as, but I classify it as a drone. You know, so she she has like a little scout drone that flies around and go wee 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 wee. Yeah, it's. Honestly, when you think of it as a drone, it's friggin' adorable because you got the two, uh, you got the eyes here, here, and then you got a little mouth. So it's going, oh, 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 yeah. And you can also, uh, if you don't want to store it here, you can also plug the back or plug it in the back here. And quite honestly, I, I, kind of prefer it like this i like the wheels showing off the back because this looks cool this looks this looks cool um in terms of weapons she gets these two energon uh uh i think they're supposed to be tonfa but <clears throat> i think these are tonfa but they're they're bladed so uh a type of bladed tonfa i guess um, you can have her holding them, like, you can have them like they were in the, uh, in the series for, um, for Prime. It's like that. Or you can have her holding them in a, you know, in the way Tonfa are meant to be held, like this. And I kind of like that. I like that. I like the idea of RC wielding bladed Tonfa, because those are cool. And don't let anybody tell you differently. Bladed Tonfa are cool. Now, you can also connect these two together. And while, yes, because of the new, um, uh, the, what was it? The, um, oh god, what's it called? Uh, Velocitron. The Velocitron, uh, Speedia 500, that was it. Uh, and the, uh, the not red motorcycle repainted this girl, uh, comes in the, uh, Comes with the same kind of <clears throat> energon infused thingy, but the uh, the star pattern on here is painted black, so it looks like a ninja star. And you know what? That's cool. But I also like the idea of her just having like an energon shield as well. She kind of has like a, a mini centurion. She, she, bleh, bleh, bleh. Tongue stopped working. She has like a mini centurion shield, or like a a Viking shield. <laughs> RC RC went Viking. Oh god, that. Oh god, Prime RC going Viking. That that's terrifying. That that's that's a scary thought. 
She's brutal enough as it is, but imagine her with Viking. Um, with a Viking thing. And for some reason, I do not know why, but the back likes to come off. So, yeah, you, you can, if you don't like how big the backpack is, you can take this off and put it off to the side, the wheels there. And then you can just kind of have like a, quote, clean aesthetic. Or hell, if you want to give her a junker look, give the, uh, ta-da, junker RC. <laughs> Ooh, that would be, oh God, she's related to, uh, she's related to the Junkions. <laughs> oh God. Uh, that one, that one was bad. Sorry. And so we're just gonna go back here. So for, uh, for articulation, you get the, uh. The head's on a ball joint, so she can do a full 360. Actually, yeah, the eyes are uh, kind of a clear plastic, which kind of sucks because she, you know, she's she got kind of like a dead eye kind of stare gone. And it's unfortunate. Um, though she does have, like, nice paint apps uh, on the side of her chest here and on her, uh, quote, stomach. Stop falling down, damn it. Noble Autobot Warrior, and she can't stand up. Hmm. This is why you do not choose heels for feet, young lady. Boots. Combat boots. Most effective. Yes. Uh, you do get pink here on the uh, the horns, the sides of the uh, the helmet, and on the sides of her uh, her gauntlets, and here on her uh, on her knees, and back to a. Uh, Back to articulation, because I am an idiot and I got distracted. So, her arms can go straight out. She can do the T-Po. She can do a good old-fashioned suck it, Magnus. Our elbows are good at a 90 degree, and she has a right... Uh, I don't know what to call this. Uh, she can swivel her arm, and she also has... Sw uh, a hand swivel, which is really nice considering the uh, fact that for transformation, you actually have to pull that over. So normally they don't, normally they, uh, Hasbro doesn't actually do that. So the fact that RC actually has uh, a wrist joint, even though she has a sliding mechanic for her transformation, that is really cool. And I very much like that. Uh, she does have kind of a waist rotation, kind of, sort of. Uh, the way that, you know, her waist works is that she's, it's kind of a ball joint, so uh, not really. Well, yeah, no, she just barely gets a, a waist joint, which is unfortunate. Legs can go out that far if her bikini piece won't get in the way, and she can she can get into them their yoga poses. She can do the splits. It's like almost every single girl I know can do the splits, and it's really annoying. Because I very much want to be able to do the splits. It just hurts. And yeah, I know lots and lots of stretching, but that takes effort. <laughs> um, And yeah, so that is it for her articulation. Uh, let's get some comparisons, shall we? Here she is next to G2 uh, Leadfoot. And here she is next to Impactor. And here she is right in front of the Bulkster. And don't they just look cute? They look adorable. And I love it. There we go. If I had a proper ratchet, I would so do like a... Um, I would definitely do like a whole Autobot... Prime family reunion, but I do not have a proper ratchet, and I am not using Shattered Glass Ratchet. Because he does not deserve to be in the same room as the good Autobots. But that's my own stereotypes. Alright, so, let's, uh, let's get into a uh, transformation, shall we? Okay, so the first thing you are going to do is kind of extend this arm here and take off the, uh, the wheels. Put this piece back on if you decide to take it off. And if you did what I did with display, you just put the wheel back here. All right. So first thing, or 
second thing, I guess, is move down the uh, the arm guards, and then you're going to want to flip down her. Uh, I don't know what to call it, and I'm afraid to talk about it, so we're just not going to bring it up. I'm going to then flip in the feet so that they are like that. And if I remember, no, we do not turn the waist. No, we turn this around. It goes there. I guess we do. We turn the waist around. Clip everything in like so. Clip out the arms. And get everything. This girl does a lot of friggin' yoga. My god. <laughs> and you want to connect the tires together here Lexio and then bring the arms back here on this kind of ratchet hinge here it's like a very soft ratchet uh, with only two teeth bits you just close that all up like so and then you want to take the um, the wing sides here and this tab, this tab right here, will go into this hole right here. Just want to line everything up like so and like so. Come on. There we go. And there we go. Now you have RC in her, uh, in her vehicle mode. Oh, and uh, you can also bring down the little kickstand. And she is an adorable little uh, motorcycle. So we're just going to zoom in here. Lexia. And yeah, she's a really nice looking motorcycle. Um, as you can see, a lot of the, really, it's just a lot of the same detail from, uh, from robot mode kind of shining through. It's only now just this uh, front motorcycle head. Uh, I don't know what you call the front of a motorcycle. I, I, I don't. Dad owns a motorcycle. Don't know what the head of a motorcycle is called. Um, yeah, it's it's really nice. Uh, it's just done in. It's actually done in a black plastic. Um, and then just kind of painted over blue, and it's a very nice blue actually. Um, not sure how well it's coming up on camera, but these are actually very well color matched. Um, there's a small difference. This, um, I'm, I'm not sure if it's coming up on camera, but this blue is a little bit darker than this one. But not by much. Like It's like half a shade darker. And you know what? It, it doesn't detract from the eye, unlike Sunstreaker. Yeah, that's right. I'm so pissed about Sunstreaker. Uh, you also have these really nice orange um, uh, turn signal lights, and the uh, head actual headlights themselves are picked out in a very or not picked out, but they're uh, actually made of a blue um, transparent, like a nice blue trans uh, transparent blue um, plastic that's actually attached. Uh, it's the same plastic that's on here. Yeah, uh, and the uh, the actual rear view mirrors are also uh, like glued on, and that's really cool. Um, yeah, no nothing really at the back, um, which is unfortunate. Like I kind of wish there was a little bit more motorcycle detail at the back. And come on, come on. There's also these little pegs you kind of have to peg the bottoms of the of the legs into, but yeah, they're a pain in the ass. Uh, for weapon storage, you can kind of have the the disc of doom here on the back, sitting on the back. Or if you want, you can break apart the to uh, the shield into two tonfa, and you can have and them like that, and that's pretty cool. Or she can uh, scare the living crap out of uh, whoever's riding her and be like, "Don't sit back, don't sit back, don't sit back, shing!" Oh god. Yeah, you also get a uh, a rotating um, front wheel here, so you can actually have her like doing really cool turns and stuff. And 
Hover mode. Waka 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 waka. Waka 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 waka. And yeah. So that's basically it for her vehicular mode. It's a vehicular mode. So, for comparison, here she is next to an F1 car. Rando space tank. Military truck. Something ain't right here and I can't quite tell what it is. Can you find out? Sorry. Um, yeah, it's scaling ain't worth jack in, uh, in Transformers. And I was planning on doing a, um, uh, stop mo like a stop motion series a, a while ago. So when I got this RC, cause I wanted this version of RC to be my main RC. Um, because a, I never had access to the thrilling 31 and B, I, I really <laughs> do not like the Earthrise mode. And uh, while I was planning the uh, the the video, uh, I didn't know that the um, Studio Series 86 was coming out. So, and even still, meh, I'm sorry. Uh, this to me is RC, a motor, a badass motorcycle um, with you know. The color doesn't matter to me. It's just the the alt mode and the way that the alt mode works. Uh, the giant pink, whatever the hell car, not for me. Pink and white motorcycle, hell yeah. Just, I, I I don't know. I think it was um. I think, and I can't believe I'm saying this. Energon spoiled me on a pretty decent RC, which was just a motorcycle. Um. Though I mean, giant pink. Sports car. Cool. Um, yeah, so that that's kind of her next to, uh, <laughs> uh, next to Leadfoot. And, uh, yeah, that makes, that makes no sense. Uh, Leadfoot can go back. Uh, her and, uh, <laughs> her and Impactor also. No sense in vehicle mode. However, scaling in robot mode, yes. Um, oh, and sorry, I just got off work, so my brain scrambled, um, <laughs> to finish off the, sorry about the, um, the stop motion thing. I bought, like, two of the, uh, the Lego motorcycles, uh, that had the, uh, the engine, or the, uh, the, like, the gear, gear teeth thing, uh, just to have, like, stand-ins for a size chain, like, for a, a smaller RC, and, you know, that would make sense. Um, so yeah, just like, and I kind of do that with, um, like if it's not a micro master, which kind of makes sense. Uh, I get like a, a Lego vehicle just as the, uh, the stand in. Yeah. This is her next to a, a tank. A Cybertronian tank. And then here's her next to bulk. Badass bulkster. Speaking of bulk, I cannot wait for his friggin' um, for his records uh thing. I really like the camo, and I will have more to talk about. Like I, I will have a much more like in depth comparison on uh on bulk when um when we get him. But uh, just for like this figure in general, uh, he's fun, and I love him, and I don't care if he has a blocky chest. He's bulk, and we love bulkhead. Um. But yeah, that's basically it for uh, for me today. Sorry, it's such a, a short video. Um, but I, I just needed something uh, something quick. Uh, long day, and I would like to relax. So, uh, not not saying that uh, like this is relaxing or right? like not uh, not relaxing or anything. This is like really fun to do. Um, it's just I'm really in the mood to play Pokemon Snap. I'd like to play some snap. <laughs> um, but yeah, this figure honestly is great. And well, she looks awesome in um, the flame war, flame, flame out, fl the, the shattered glass uh, version of this toy that we're getting. And also in the, um, 
uh, the Speedio 500. Um, I, damn it, I think I'm gonna have to get all three versions of this bloody mold now. Curse you, Speedia! And does anybody else think this girl looks like Ransack in red? Why don't we get a Ransack? I, I would love to see a friggin' Ransack, Ransack from, uh, from Cybertron. Give me Ransack and Crumple Zone. I, I want my dim-witted, uh, giant green Goliath with a two turbocharged backpacks. And my impish little motorcycle who has a friggin' New York accent. Give me that, Hasbro, or give me death. Next round of Speedia figures, there better be a Crumple Zone and there better be a goddamn Ransack. Okay, that, that's it for my uh, my little Cybertron rant there. Um, you can see what I'm excited for. <laughs> um, but again, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day. Um, if you like my stuff, leave a comment, subscribe, all that fun chill out stuff that I have to do now. Um, my Twitter will be in the bio if you want to talk with me. And yeah, have a good rest of your day, guys. Bye.